So I had so much fun reading your comments on the Hematoganus video that I wanted to make more cultural food videos. This one will talk about the sweet chocolate covered cheese bar known as Surrealis. It was only when I came to Lithuania that I discovered anything like it. And as far as I know, I don't think it exists outside of Central and Eastern Europe. For those who don't know about Surrealis, it's a sweet cheese product covered in chocolate and sold like a candy bar. Sometimes it has a filling and other variations don't. Since it's a dairy product, you'll find it at the supermarket in a refrigerator. While I don't know if there's a direct and proper translation into English, Wikipedia says that this item can be called a curd snack, cottage cheese bar, or curd cheese bar in English. In Russian, it's apparently called sirok and is made of what the Russians call tvorog, which Google Translate says is cottage cheese in English. Oh, and in Hungary, I believe they call it Turo Rudi. My Lithuanian friend said that when he was living in the Netherlands, he helped import them for sale in Amsterdam. Unsure of an official, accurate English translation, he called them cheesecake bars. And completely independently of my friend's experiences, I also thought to myself that they should be called cheesecake bars. And interestingly, the food blog, that's what she had, also refers to it as a cheesecake bar. So I guess if anyone from Google is watching, you can update the Lithuanian English translation. I think calling it a cheesecake bar in English makes it sound less strange and foreign, since I think most of the English-speaking world is already familiar with cheesecake. I call the concept weird because I always grew up thinking of any kind of cheese product as being a salty, savory thing, and not a sweet treat. One exception to this, of course, is cheesecake. I remember the first time I was with my wife when she got a Surrealis bar. She asked if I wanted a bite, and after she told me it was cheese, I declined, imagining that I would be biting into a chunk of, like, sweetened cheddar cheese or something. But where did this treat originally come from? Well, according to Hungary Today, the earliest form of this treat appeared in Russia. I unfortunately can't find any more detail than that. With a few sources mentioning Soviet Russia, I'll assume that it was developed during this period of Russian history. In one Delphi article I found, translated from Lithuanian to English, the author also admits to having difficulties finding details about the origin of Surrealis. However, they do say that production technology for this type of product was described in the Soviet Union in the 40s, and so it's assumed that the mass production of these treats in factories was also started at that time. The article adds that the first automated production line of Surrealis was reportedly created in Lithuania, which is pretty cool. Apparently, Surrealis reached its peak popularity in the 20th century, in the 1980s and 90s. However, the treat is apparently still quite popular in Baltic countries, as well as in Belarus, Ukraine, and Russia. Oh, and apparently even some countries in Central Asia. That Delphi article adds that Westerners are a little hesitant and uncertain about this product. I guess I can agree to that, since I found myself in that category too. Although I know what it is now, and I'm not afraid to try it, I just don't feel like it's something that I would crave. While I quite enjoy cheesecake, Surrealis is just different enough that it's not appealing in the same way. I don't know why. Maybe it's because cheesecake is nice when it's served on top of a graham cracker crust? I don't know. One thing is for certain though, Surrealis is still big in Lithuania. Going to the supermarkets to do filming for this video, I discovered that my local Rimi has almost an entire section devoted to Surrealis, with so many different brands and flavors. There's Surrealis with poppy seeds, Surrealis with a condensed milk filling, or a blueberry filling, or chocolate Surrealis, and the list goes on and on. There are even vegan substitutes like this tofu bar. I tried it and it's not too bad. I don't think people who grew up with real Surrealis will accept it as a suitable alternative, but I could be wrong. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed learning about this sweet, cheese-based treat in today's video. If you're watching this and you're Lithuanian or from somewhere else in Central or Eastern Europe, let me know if you've had this before, and if you like it. Share all your thoughts by leaving a comment down below. I guess I'll end this video with the Lithuanian word of the day, which is Suris which translates to cheese in English, Suris. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.